Hey guys, it's Numa Stacker and I'm back with you today. I was going to name this video Packaging from Hell. And in fact, I still might do that. This is a an example of how not to package the coins when they come to me to send for grading. This package arrived in the office today from a very, very fine Silver Forum member based in Luxembourg. And uh, you'll see the Luxembourg theme flow through this unboxing. This person is a big, big, big fan of duct tape. I believe that uh, I know his profession and he probably uses it professionally, so has a store cupboard full of duct tape, maybe even a basement full of duct tape. And, uh, and most of his duct tape supply was used in packaging this delivery of coins. And you can see just how long it took to unbox these <laughs> due to how much time-lapse footage there is in showing you this. And, oh my God, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my whole life. But, I hope that uh, the next time he sends some coins in, they will be a little more lightly packaged. But maybe there's a very bumpy road on the way from Luxembourg to London. So, what we have is a variety of coins. Um, interesting coins. Coins that you won't have seen on my channel before. Um... I don't see very many European coins. Um, we saw some stuff on Germany the other day, we've seen some French coins, but general modern coins from different parts of Europe don't really see that too often. Um, and there aren't too many of these kind of things that get graded, so it's nice to have an opportunity to grade uh, this particular coin set. Um, gold coin from Luxembourg, proof... Um, so really, really nice coins. I think it um, be interesting to look at the census and see how many of these coins have previously been graded. I bet the population is incredibly small. So here we have Grand Duke Jean of Luxembourg and uh, what I assume is the Luxembourg Royal Crest. Very nice too. And uh, what else have we in this little pile? Even the little piles of coins uh, after taking off the duct tape are incredibly well packaged. Now this guy knows his packaging really really well. Everything is secure, no chance of anything getting damaged in the mail. I mean it's not so bad making sure that nothing gets damaged in the mail but I think that um, could have had just a little bit less cello tape and stuff like that. However, inside this packaging is a rather magnificent Australian two ounce kookaburra. And uh, this isn't one I've seen before, so this is really nice to see. And uh, I like these kind of chunky plastic um, capsules, I guess, that some of the Australian coins come in. I think they used to use them and then maybe stopped using these particular type of capsules, but I've seen a few of these type of capsules and they're pretty cool. So I don't know how many of these have been graded either. This is not one I've seen very often, um, but it is really rather nice. So moving on to the next beautifully packaged coin. I always worry when I open these kind of packages that uh, I might damage something, um, but hopefully, in fact, so far everything's gone okay. Okay, so what have we here? I mean, it's so... <laughs> eventually, eventually we'll get to see the coin, I promise. Okay. Uh, 
another portrait of the uh, Grand Duke. This is really rather nice, actually. It's in very good condition. Looks like an MS coin. Not quite sure what it's celebrating. Maybe the anniversary of the formation of Luxembourg. Doing a little fast forward magic to the next coin. And the next coin is American and it is a a little teeny weeny golden eagle. I really like these. Incidentally, if you're collecting bullion, um, whether you're in the UK or America, these are great coins. These are amazing coins to trade because they trade so easily. Everybody is a buyer for these coins. I've had quite a few of them and they sell almost um, more quickly than any other gold coin if you ever want to buy and sell these coins. Even more quickly than sovereigns maybe. Having said that, they're not incredibly interesting coins, so uh, so maybe if you're more of a numismatic type collector like me, um, I just probably want to say that I don't have any in my collection at the moment. I traded them all uh, for more interesting coins, So, uh, but they are very, very nice coins anyway. So this next coin is the first one of these types that I've had. Uh, this is the Rwanda Nautical Ounce coin. Uh, I think it's a BU one. This um, this was minted not not really in Rwanda, but uh, it follows on from the Luna, the Rwanda Luna, the rooster, which uh, was incredibly popular, and particularly the proof has done very very well as an investment piece as well. Um, these also, I think, will do well, particularly the proof. Again, I don't know, they, they may have produced too many of the BU coins, and they've also ramped, they're ramping up gradually the numbers of proofs, so they may not be so much of a collector's item in the future. But um, I think it's a really nice coin, I like their designs, I don't like it anything like as much as the Rwanda Rooster, which I think is a much nicer design than this. And I kind of half think they're just capitalising on the success of the Rooster, so be careful uh, with these coins that they may not be a surefire route to, uh, to profit. And if you are going to buy them, then uh, focus on the proof rather than the BU, BU version. Particularly if you're grading, I think the proof is a nicer one to have graded. I can't really explain why, but this next coin, and in fact this is the last coin in the package, is actually my favourite. Uh, and I don't really know why. I need to do a bit of research on it. It looks like a proof, and uh, it's in a sealed pouch. Um, obviously, whatever pouch it was issued in, has, it stayed sealed. There's just something about it. It's a Belgian coin, and uh, Queen Astrid of Belgium. And there's just something about it. I really like that portrait. I think the kind of look in her eyes and the little dimple in her chin. Um, no, I, re I really like that, and I think, you know, in a way, that should probably get uh, some conservation, because it looks like it will come up really nicely after conservation. <laughs> 